Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm with the Jelly Man. Now what I have here is Lonoveski. That's by AMG. And that's Evike. I think it's Evike Manufacturing Group. It's Evike in America anyway. Now this is itself by it's nicely packaged, nice box. But specifically, what I want to show you on the box, if you can read the warning there, what it says. And this is a warning for California. And apparently, it comes on everything out of California, I think, what I've been told anyway. Right. What I have here is from the airsoft shop itself, where I purchased the replica from, and all it is is a kind of test sheet of who tested it and what was done, because I had the spring downgraded, because on my limit here in Ireland it's 328 FPS, one joule. So I had it downgraded. They give you the option in Taiwan Gun. It's in Poland. That's where this came from. And when it was downgraded, it chrono that 36, 35, 34, 33, 35, 35, 37, 35, 36, 35. So 35. Give up the average 35 FPS. Now what else you get is this kind of do's and don'ts, little target. I didn't get no book in here, nothing at all, no book. Tell me what's what. You get a fish out, just a little card with a kind of serial number and stuff on it tell you what's what as you can see it was 400 fps but it's been downgraded right also when they downgraded they took the tag off and on the tag it's a little warning tag that goes around the trigger it says do not remove the do not attempt to remove the buffer tube if you want to remove the main spring or change the buffer stock tube you must take the gearbox out first simple as that and the reason being is on the buffer tube is like that there's a little cut out on the end of the buffer tube and the wires are kind of in between that so if you twist the buffer tube you're going to catch and tear all the wires and you'll have a mess on your hands basically and you'll have to go into the gearbox and change the wires out so take the gearbox out before you mess with the buffer tube that's the warning they're giving you there alright in the box comes polymer high cap mag windy wheel on the bottom the usual store you have a little logo on here, it's, I can barely make it out, uh, UMAC, is it UMAC, and it has a little skull on, kind of a little skull on there, not a bad mic, you can see it's, it has the split down there, It'll do, it works, that's it. Must do anyway, because the BB's still left in it. Yeah, the BB's still left in where they've tested it, so that's the mag. Next is the replica itself. Now, before I do that, you're getting on jamming rod. Hey, another one. And the form inside, if you can see that. If you wanted, you could use this in a case 
instead of trying to find form for the case, you can probably pull this out and put it into a case. It would work well, I'd say. Now the replica itself. You can see the mag fits well. Just check that actually. Small tiny bit of play. Back and forth play as well. Yeah. Not too bad. It's not the worst I've seen. Now, I'll go from the stock to the front. The stock, usual polymer stock, all your positions, as you can see, different positions, bit of a wobble in it, bit of play. Now with the stock, if I can turn it and just show you, there is a pin to release your battery housing. So what you have to do, it's like the body pins in the lower, you have to pull the pin out, and you can see that could come out in the field, and you lose it, and this is open. But there's your battery compartment. As you can see, it's a really slim line stock, so you've only the stock tube to use. Now, why I'm at this, I'll show you what batteries will fit in. I have here a Titan 7.4 and this is on Dean's you can see 7.4 down the stock tube fits well. And you can tuck the wires down there too. Is a bit of a struggle. Pull this further out. Put that there and as you can see fits in. Pop that back down a second. I'll get another one. C11-1 Titan, the largest end down first, then you can pop this, I did have this the other day, if I do this, pull the stop tube out, that fits in, the wires will tuck in, I'm not going to go through trying to tuck them all in, but they do go in, and that's what you have. But you have to have this fully extended all the way out to fit one of these ones in. But the 7.4 will go in there. 11.1 goes in. I do have these type, but no, I don't think they're going to go in there. Not a hope one of them going in there so 
the option is to change the stock. That's kind of the only option there if you want a different battery, a bigger battery. I do like how it comes with beans instead of the Tamiya's. Bit of a struggle getting this back in now. Actually a bit of a pain that now there. Yeah, I'm not fond of this stock to be honest. It's just no, it's not for me. And that's the way I there to take it off. Just pull that and it all comes off. But yeah, I'm gonna change that stock out. Now the stock tube it is Seems to be aluminium. Entirely, yeah, aluminium. Now, with the stock tube, this ring, this is the way you take it off. It's simple, and you twist that until it unloosens. But I'm not going to do it because the wires are just kind of in the stock tube there. And if I turn that, I'm going to tear the wires. So that's the warning do not take the stock tube off until you take the gearbox out. Now, from the top here, you have your charging handle, it's metal, and you have the Noveski markings on. Now this charging handle doesn't work by the spring like you have normal M4s where you have the spring attached to the upper. This kind of just sits on the gearbox and just pulls back on there. Now to hold back your mop bolt just here at the bottom you push this in release that and your mop bolt stays open. Now you have two positions you have here to release it or just at the back here so I'll release it by this one just to show you just simple like that. Now you can get it, the mop bolt in a different style so it'll do the blowback system on this. You can order them from eVike and I don't know if you have to pay duty on them or not, I don't know. All depends when they come into the country. I'm in Ireland so I don't know what it would cost me to get one in. But you can get them and it does the blowback system. May get it eventually. Maybe. You can see, that's just the mop up kind of, nothing works on that. You have an ambi fire selector. You can see, it's just ambi. Quite nice. The selectors themselves are plastic which I'm going to change them for metal. But then again, I just might keep them like they are. What's the point of change of the work? Why bother fixing it? Work grand at the moment. If they break, then I can replace them. You have Ambi Mag Release. As you can see. And I'll do a drop test with a mag. Obvious. You have Ambi selectors, Ambi bolt release. Now on the pins, you can see there, there are Noveski markings. There's Noveski and trademark on the lower there. It says Noveski Rifle Works LLC Grant Pass OR is it Oregon USA model number N4 19J bloody bloody blah 
on the pistol grip here you have EMG now it's a nice grip good texture on both sides back and front here smooth kind of on here and you can tell it's not kind of 45 degree angle would you call it it's more upright so it's kind of a better but handling better grip I find it easier anyway now on the opposite side again you get Noveski and it's all engraved it's not stamped on or anything like that this is all engraved not stamped on as well as the M-lock rail it's all engraved Noveski NSR15, Noveski.com, and it's a nice rail and it has all the sections. The M lock sections is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight M lock sections on it. You also have the little M stunt just here. And then you come to the Flaming Pig and on the opposite side is Noveski for the amplifier. Now what I do like about this rail is the little cutouts just underneath here so you can fish wires through. So if you have kind of flashlights and you need wires and you anything to pass through there you can do that. Quite a nice touch, I like that rail. It's my first stem lock rail, so quite like it. Now, as you can tell, it's really slim line. There's no big bulk, no bulk, and there's no bulk up here. From back to front, it's really slim. And it's quite a nice replica. Now, the features of the gearbox, what you get with the gearbox, it's a silver edge gearbox and with a trigger system, you cannot change the trigger, you have to keep the trigger with the system that's in it, it's proprietary to this system, it's the SDU system and you can do program it to two round bursts on semi and three round bursts on full I think five round two round and nine round two round five round two round three round I think I'm not too sure there's about five settings anyway you can do on it and the way you set that is Actually, I'm going to have to stick a battery in just to show you. Check that out. Make sure there's no... There is. There's a BB stick in there. You can tell how they've come out with that mag when it wasn't wound up. There's another one just in there. Before I put any battery in, I'm testing it. And yeah, that's it. There's no more BBs in there. Right, what I'll do is the 74, I'll just pop it in just to show you the trigger system, the way you set it. Wires are a bit stuck here now. That's that. Now here we go now the trigger system you don't set it by the trigger when you're doing the modern the trigger like two round bursts and all that you set it there's a little button just up here and if I can show you I can get my fat fingers in to press it you might see the red light you can see that and it blinks twice now it is late here and everybody's in bed I'm just going to do a quick shot to show you
round, three round burst. I'll press it again. Three out of time. One, two. Test it again. That's two rounds on semi. Full auto. And then I press it again. One, two. Full auto. Two. One, two. That's nine. Nine rounds there. So it's two and nine. Do it again. One, two. Full auto. Yeah, back to semi. So there's, I'd say, four, four settings, I'd say, not five. I'll just correct myself there. So that's kind of basically it with it. Now, as I say, I'm going to change that stock. I'll leave the selectors just for now and may change the spring. I don't know if they've put an M90 into it or just cut it down to a 85 because it could be an 85. So I'm going to maybe change the spring change that stock and maybe I can do something with the wires through the buffer tube this also is a quick change spring you can change it from down the buffer tube but you'll need a big long allen wrench and the allen wrench is quite big itself and it may be a six to eight mil I'm not too sure Probably six to eight mil Allen wrench you'll need, and probably whatever that is, probably seven inch length. Now you can change it down the stock tube, or you can take the gearbox out and just change it at the back of the gearbox. There's no need to take the gearbox apart, just change it at the back. It comes out that way, it's easy. And the barrel. They're saying it's some kind of it's stainless steel, but they're saying it's made out of car manufacturing something or other. I don't know. Couldn't tell you the details on that. And as you notice at the top, there's no iron sights. It doesn't come with iron sights, which kind of not too bad, I don't mind that. I'll stick a scope on it and just aftermarket iron sights will do. Any 20mm, 22mm iron sights will fit on this. And that's basically it guys. It's Noveski Gen 4 Infidel Black. So if you want to purchase one of these, look on Taiwan Gun Poland. They have the 10.5 inch short version. 